Hello friends, welcome to Flight Test. My name is Josh. Today we're showing you how to build the FT Easy Bug. Now the FT Easy Bug is an awesome collaboration between our good friends with Power Up and also Flight Test. We designed this FT Easy Bug specifically to be able to be flown in small areas and also have incredible maneuverability. The really cool thing about it is when you couple this with the Power Up 4.0, you're gonna have a specific profile that's written for this exact airplane, which is gonna give you the best performance. Now in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to build, how to tune, and also how to fly this. So all you need to do is gather your materials. Speaking of materials, that's gonna be a hot glue gun, scissors or a knife, two inch tape, and also three quarter inch scotch tape. Let's go ahead and get our materials in order and we'll get started. So the first thing we're gonna be doing with our FT little bug is we're gonna be popping out all the pieces. Now this is really simple because there's basically only four of them. Take your time and make sure that you go ahead and pop out each piece without damaging any of them. So we're just gonna rock that back and forth. All right, now that we have our four pieces popped out, we're gonna go ahead and identify each one. The first thing we have is that we have our two fins, we have our main body, and we also have our dihedral gauge. Dihedral is gonna give this plane a little bit of natural stabilization, so it'll go ahead and not have to work as hard to get back to level. Once we have all of our pieces identified, let's go ahead and put our attention towards the main body of our little bug. The first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna flip this over on its back, and we're gonna carefully peel off the facing paper on our foam. With our back facing paper taken off, we're not gonna go over the seams where our dihedral bend is gonna be with either two inch packing tape that's really thin or also three quarter inch scotch tape. I personally prefer thin packing tape that's two inches wide because it's gonna give us a little bit more strength and it's gonna go on really easy. I'm gonna go ahead and center this from the point right where the dihedral starts to where the score cut ends on the other side. So I'm just gonna take this nice and vertical. And then I'm just gonna carefully cut off the excess. If you don't wanna work with a razor blade, you can just as easily use a pair of scissors. Now we're gonna do the same exact process on the other side. Our next step is we're gonna put two small pieces of tape right over where the hinge lines are gonna go on the back of our little bug. Start this right here. And then one more piece here. Now that we have our reinforcement tape on the back side, we're gonna remove the facing paper on the top side of our airplane. Just one piece at a time. A nice steady pull is all you need, and the paper should come off in mostly one piece. For our next step, we're gonna go ahead and open up the channels on both sides to allow for our dihedral. Now you can open these channels using the tip of a ballpoint pen, a pencil, or just the tip of a barbecue skewer. All we're gonna lightly do is we're just slightly drag this down and just kind of slightly open this channel. I'm only pressing maybe halfway down, just like you see here. From that point, we should be able to very easily kind of bend this up. And we wanna bend this up so it'll naturally kind of hold its shape so we can put the dihedral gauge under without it having to wrestle it too much. Just a little bit more. Just like that. Once we're happy with the angle and we have the body portion of our wing flat on the table and we have the tip of our wing angling up with a dihedral gauge, we can then come back with two inch tape and lay a piece of two inch tape right across here. Notice I'm not using any hot glue at the moment. That's because hot glue adds weight. We wanna keep this little guy as light as possible. Once we're happy with the angle of our dihedral, I'm simply gonna lay my piece of tape right down. I'm just gonna roll it right down on the edge, right over. And press it right down in that seam, just like you see here. Now when I remove this, you're gonna see it's nice and strong without any glue at all. Let's go ahead and take a razor blade or a pair of scissors and trim off the excess. And we'll do the same process on the other side. Just gonna gently use our fingers to kind of lift this up, kind of let it establish its dihedral. Just right down on that seam. 
And again, we have a nice strong joint. The main portion of our wing is now done. Our next step is gonna to be to peel off the facing paper off of both sides of our fence. I'm just gonna lay this down just against that seam line. I'm just gonna make a light score so I can remove the tape right over where the fin's gonna go. All right, that looks really good. Next step, if you have a little bit of tape going over, just kind of run your razor blade down. And I'm just gonna open this up just a little bit with the tip of a barbecue skewer or the tip of a pen and raise this up a bit. You're gonna notice on the fin here that there's a natural little portion that kind of angles up. This is gonna give the flying wing or the little bug the proper amount of reflex to fly properly. And then again, just kind of angle this up ever so much. So when we glue on our tail surface, that angle naturally comes up to meet it. All right, this is where our hot glue gun's gonna come into play. All we need to do is simply put a little bead of hot glue on the flat portion of our fin. right in place and we're gonna hold that vertical for about 30 seconds make sure that you install your fin with the edge of it perfectly aligned against your crease for your dihedral and that will ensure that your fin is nice and true and that's not gonna to turn to the left or the right my last step is I'm gonna take a small piece of scotch tape I'm gonna press my tail fin right up against the very bottom of the fin and then I'm gonna press this in place The nice thing about using tape also is if I have to change any of the angle of attacks, all I simply need to do is pull this off and reposition the elevator and then tape it back on. Let's cut off the excess. It's the same process on the other side. Move the paper. I'm just gonna carefully remove a little bit of tape, a little tiny relief. Don't worry too much about the uh, fact that we're opening up that seam because the glue is gonna glue it right back down. Carefully kind of open this up so it naturally bends up a little bit. Quick test fit right down on the table. Right next to that seam. Then our last step is to hold this up against the bottom angle of the tail and then tape the seam shut. All right, so now we have the airframe of our FT Easy Bug built. Our next step here is to show you how to install the Power Up 4.0. Along with the Power Up 4.0, we're also gonna be using our accessory kit, which has two vertical mounts, two horizontal mounts, some landing gear, along with some other really great hardware. So specifically for this model here, we're gonna be using two of our horizontal mounts. We're gonna mount it so the Power Up is actually mounted on the top, which means we're gonna want the horizontal mounts to be on the bottom. Let's go ahead and put those on right now. There we go. One screw and the second screw. Same process on the next one. There's one screw and the second screw. There we go. Our next step is we're going to go ahead and place this on the airframe. And a good starting point is where the very front of the nose right here is gonna line up with these notches here. What you may notice that you need to do is to actually move this forward or backward to get your CG proper to how you want it to fly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this back. We'll engage one. I'm just gonna go ahead and press this nose all the way back here. This is centered up so I can press this pin right into the foam, kind of crush it down in there. And we'll slide the next one back. That's it, no tape needed. We're ready to go ahead and check our center of gravity. And it's right where it needs to be. So at this point, we're ready to take this outside. We're gonna do some glide tests, and then we're also gonna show you how to tune it and how to fly it. So we have our FT Easy Bug, our CG is good, our deflection is good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put her in the air and see how she flies. So I have my profile loaded on my power up here. She's bound up. Let's go ahead and see how she does.
<laughs> Friends of Wild, thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Thank you so much for the opportunity to power up to make some designs around this. Guys, what we want to see you do with all three of these foam board designs, we want to see you mix and match and design in your own and then sharing your results. So make sure you do that and we'll see you next time.